Hello out there in cryptocurrency land. Welcome back to Real Crypto. Thank you for joining me here today. And if you're catching this video live, odds are you're not in the U.S. It's about 3.15 a.m. my time. And I was just thinking to myself a little bit ago, so what did I do about a year ago before I got involved in crypto if I woke up at 3 in the morning? I'm like, what I would say to myself is, what am I doing up at 3.15 in the morning? I need to go back to bed. Not today. When you're in crypto, when it's 3.15 in the morning, you tell yourself, ooh, I need to go check my Bitcoin position. So this is what happens when real crypto is up at 3 in the morning. I apparently check my crypto positions and make a YouTube video. So here you go. All right, so current Bitcoin action is we are have high, lower highs and higher lows. And within that, we have a bear flag. We have a bear flag right here in Bitcoin, and which in that bear flag we have, let's go to the two hour chart. That was the daily chart. Lower highs and higher lows. And a general choppy area right here, highlighted by this kind of weird rectangle box. Such a strange market we're in right now, ladies and gentlemen. And if you look at the volume, look at the volume, look at how tight the volume has gotten. We, we've been talking about declining volume. It has now gotten to the point of ridiculousness to where this is looking like a small altcoin instead of Bitcoin. Going all the way back up here to back when we were at 11.6. All the way back up here. Look at this volume. Beautiful volume. Beautiful volume. Just diminishing to the point of nothingness. And the price action has gotten so tight that even on the two-hour chart zooming in, it's um, a little difficult to really see what's happening. It's really difficult. You literally have to go to the 15 minute to try to get any kind of discernible information, at least in terms of volume. Like, hey, look, okay, it looks like there's a couple of green pops over here, a couple of red pops over here. You know, going back out to the two hour, um, it doesn't look like a whole lot. You've really, really, really got to zoom in, and it's still hard to get a bit of information. This, this really reminds me, to be honest with you, of, uh, of Bitcoin 20,000. When Bitcoin was running up here to 20,000, it was really hard to get any good information on the two hour chart. I mean, yeah, you knew it was running up, but you really couldn't get a lot of beat on, on topping action. It really took diving down into those lower term time frames to get any kind of good information out of Bitcoin in, in terms of real time information, at least. That's really what it seems like to me, to me over here. But I'm not an all-out bear in the market, so I'm going to advocate a position to you right now where I think we actually probably should buy. And I don't even think that necessarily leads us to a, a super bullish Bitcoin. I'm just going to put that out there. All right, so Bitcoin right now, we've had this larger symmetrical triangle at play. All right, right here. We've got 10,000 right here. I'm going to, just going to go ahead and delete this line, but this is 10,000. This was our most recent high. We're happy living under the 200-day moving average. We're happy living under the 50-day moving average. Both are bearish signs. We're underneath this trend line, which is a bearish sign. And as, as you saw in a prior video of mine, uh, this could be something that holds us down throughout this entire run if we break down from here. And that is the key statement. If we break down from here, this line will more than likely, more than likely, be the top for our move. This will probably lead us lower into our slow, arduous decline into, into Bitcoin lower levels. If we happen to break up from here, there may be a possibility of a different scenario which may still lead us into bearish territory. All right, may, st may still lead us into bearish territory. And I don't do this too often, but I'm gonna go over to the logarithmic weekly chart or I'm sorry, logarithmic chart in Bitcoin, still on the daily, but logarithmic nonetheless. All right, and what you see here is a bit of a different story in Bitcoin. You see two highs here that still have pretty much respected respected the, the trend line. Actually, excuse me, it's a little bit off. And that's actually the correct trend line, but you can see here, we're still kind of moving down with the trend, and if you go by the closes, the trend line looks looks a lot better. I think that right about there would be respecting the closest. Still the same equilibrium pattern, but we're, we're coming down 
into a into a point here. And if you go back in history, back to the 2014 time frame, we had a similar overall symmetrical triangle. Overall symmetrical triangle. And what happened here is a very similar situation. There we go. We had a very similar situation here. We had overall choppy market, higher lows, lower highs, with a big throwback down here, which we did not have today. That much is obvious. And then this area lived at the lows with extraordinarily low volume as well. And you can see it popped to the upside, ran for about 50%. Ran for about 50% there, and then flattened out and rolled over. Now, in most of my analysis, we're actually well past this point in the market cycle. But what if we're not? There's, there's a, a bigger possibility. My hypothesis is that we've been around here, but my, you know, we've also blown up this 2014 market in my prior hypothesis. A secondary hypothesis is that we're in this part of the market cycle. Okay, and that we're, we're going to jump up here, eventually pause, and this would be the 11,775 level. And I'll show you that all that um, that that fifty percent here will come in handy during the current market time frame. We jump up here and we roll over. That's a possibility as well. All right, so let's go over here and let's let's ch take a look at the uh, at that fifty percent potential for a move. That's about a 50, 57% move to a trend line that I have at 11.9, um, so it's not quite right. There's 11.7. There's 11.7 right there. And if we move up from here, 53, 54%. That seems fairly reasonable. So the question you have to ask yourself today in Bitcoin is, is there more risk in being involved in Bitcoin, do you really think we're gonna we're just straight gonna crash from here, or do you think we're gonna bounce up from here? That is a that's a question that I've been pondering myself, and I don't have a very definitive answer for you on that. I really don't. The best way I can say to play this market right now, if you don't want to take a bet right now, and just basically guess, because you would be guessing if you took a bet right now, and we're so tied in Bitcoin. We're so tight in Bitcoin here that we have some very well-defined ranges. This bear flag situation gives us an opportunity. Number one, to draw a very skewed trend line if you try to copy it, which for some reason lately, Coinigy has been doing, and I'll try it again. Fix that, Coinigy. You guys suck. So we have a very well-defined trend line here, and a clear break of this trend line I believe what happened down here near this 200 period moving average on my two hour chart and that's going to show up at about 7500. So you basically have a line right here at 7500 that you could place um, number one a buy stop at basically I'm sorry a shorting like if you wanted to get into a short position if this fell you could have a, a buy order for a short position or if we broke above this prior high here you could almost put a buy order in Bitcoin here if we were to break up with the 7792 level, 7800 level. You could put almost a straddle order on the market like this, you know, straddle meaning each side of the current position. And you know, just going by just going by these re resistance levels, you can see we're right in the middle of this thing here. But I, I don't know if you arbitrarily buy Bitcoin right now, even though, you know, kind of looks like it may want to break up. I'm not sure if you arbitrarily buy Bitcoin. I think you have to give this thing a little bit of room. It's just been so extraordinarily tight that you have to give it a little bit of wiggle room and respect the absolute insane choppy behavior that we've been having in Bitcoin. Um, this choppy behavior really calls for a no trade scenario. All right, and um, I have not been, I've been doing a little bit of trading in here and I'm basically flat due to the fact that it is a choppy market and I know better. <laughs> I know better, but trying to trade direction in Bitcoin in, in, in these markets is very, very difficult. So I think you put an order up high here, or at least an alert up high. Here's an alert that I placed a few days ago above this high. All right, so you can place an alert, or you can place an order up here if you want to get involved. 
or you can place a stop loss down here if you want to arbitrarily get involved or you can place um, a market buy stop or more, more like a market sell stop if you want to short Bitcoin if you think it's going to go down. But Bitcoin's coming to a, uh, coming to a head here. We're, we're not going to break out of this range and if we do break out of this range, odds are that that will be the direction of the next movement. We're just getting so extraordinarily tight. So you don't know what to do here. There's kind of what to do here. Make a straddle move. But I think in time, if we break upward in Bitcoin, keep a look at that 11.775 level because it could lead to um, a big short squeeze, could lead to a big area, you know, bringing in some bulls, trapping some people up here. And then maybe we continue rolling over. I don't know. We don't know that for certain. It, it's just something that is rhyming with this 2014 market that is something in our cards and we have to respect that possibility. So... All right, guys, that's kind of the bigger picture in Bitcoin. Um, yeah, that's really all I got to say right there. So thanks for joining me here today, guys. Please check out real-crypto.com for the power hour where we discuss kind of some of these possibilities. And um, thanks for joining me today. I will see you next time.